Hello and welcome to your Astrological Vibrations for Wednesday, April 27th, 2022 by Gaia Healing. I am Mimi and our energy mantra for today is I am imbued with divine purpose. And today, oh, so much going on. I want to say this. So <laughs> as these days are going along, as we are building to this eclipse on uh, Saturday, I am seeing everybody at some point go down, <laughs> meaning at some point most people are having some kind of breakdown, cry fest, feels coming up, coming through. This is not bad. We are in the dark of the moon. Eclipses are catalyzers for sure for shift. And part of shift is clearing out. So please let these tears come. Now I do notice it's very interesting that... It's happening at like stagnated times, or, or not stagnated, that's not the right word. What is it? <laughs> you know the word I'm talking about, right? <laughs> that, like, it's it's very, uh, we're not all happening, having it happen at once, and I think that's good. I've always said, like, some people go down and other people are, like, holding up the sky. <laughs> so have compassion if, if you're, you know, going down, if you're feeling the feels, and, you know, you have a friend or partner who isn't, hold space. Most likely they will, maybe they won't, maybe this isn't affecting them so heavily. Um, but hold space for everybody who's feeling this energy coming in because everybody has worth stuff. We all have worth stuff. Uh, and that's the thing. We are implanted, embedded with divine purpose, divine gifts. And yet, in this world, not everybody's gifts have been allowed to come out. Not everybody's gifts have been necessarily always appreciated, whether it's by yourself or whether it's by others. And yet they are so valid and so necessary and so needed. And this eclipse, this first eclipse, is reminding us all of this, that we all have gifts. We are all here for a reason. We can all support each other with these gifts and talents we have. And today is part of this. I love it. When I was sitting down and working at the, uh, working on the energy mantra, I am imbued with like divine purpose. Today we have Venus and Neptune conjunct. Talk about divine purpose, divine gifts. Neptune, the, the divinity and Venus, um, our gifts and our value and recognizing that is something we all have to work on. I will tell you, I've been working on this for so long and I still am working on it. I still don't necessarily fully recognize my value. I don't know if I ever will. I don't know. I don't even know if we can actually hold that concept with our human minds at this time, but we can keep working towards it. And just so many clients that I am working with and talking to and friends are all just like kind of chugging away at this, like really recognizing the value that we have. And I think that we can enhance this by recognizing each other's and recognizing, owning, and bringing forward our own, again, as a divine gift. So Venus, conjunct Neptune today, this is one of the things that we can recognize, the divine gift of me, <laughs> the divine gift of you, the divine gift of every person in this world, viewed, embedded, bringing forth <laughs> these divine gifts direct from source. Now, you know, I keep getting out my rose-colored glasses this week. <laughs> All this Pisces energy, we still have some of this, uh, this these rose-colored glasses going on. Neptune can be a great illusion. But I think sometimes the illusion is not recognizing our gifts, not recognizing our value, um, not recognizing each other's gifts and value. You know, we're all also messed up by society and working through a lot of karma at the same time. So we may not necessarily be able to show up in these full shiny gifts. And so don't fall for the illusion of that either, right? It's, it's such a balancing act and it really does require discernment in how to move through these energies. But it's, it's self and others, and it's really important, you know, in relationship. This is why I say namaste at the end of every one of these, because nothing to me embodies, like that word, the honoring of the light 
in each of us, the divine in each of us. Recognizing that I think is such a huge important piece of getting to world peace. Are we, is that going to happen in our lifetime? I don't know. Probably not. But <laughs> hey, maybe maybe it will. I don't want to I don't want to cast that cloud, right? Maybe it will. But until we can see that divinity in ourselves and start recognizing it in others, even the others that we don't necessarily like, <laughs> um can get past the illusion that because somebody is unlikable means that they don't have that gift, that light, that divinity. I think that's a huge piece where we're kind of stuck in this. And again, owning and knowing your own value is the start of it. And then those around you and spreading that around you. And maybe, <laughs> maybe some people's gift is the gift of being the poopster. <laughs> I will call it that for now. So we are working through this. We want to see clearly without the rose cl colored glasses and then put them on so that you can see with those rose-colored glasses, the soul, the soul that is here with and through all of us. So potent, potent energy. With Venus and Neptune conjunct in Pisces, we may be feeling romantic. I encourage you, let the universe romance you today. I was outside contemplating a lot of things and there's a beautiful lilac bush, lilac tree, lilac bush, I don't know, right outside and just the butterflies descend on it. They love it. And I'm like, what is more magical than a world with butterflies? Like, <laughs> whoa, and that was my being romanced by the universe moment. Find those times in and through this day because it is there and it stirs the magic in you. And when you stir the magic in you, bring it forth for everybody else. Now, <laughs> besides this, um, we have the moon in Pisces finishing up through the day, connecting to Jupiter, connecting, actually connecting to like Neptune and Venus. My dreams have been off the hook. I'm sure yours have too. Pay attention to those as they may have messages. It also may be clearing. Um, moon and Jupiter starting off the day there could be an abundance of emotions that you are processing and moving through. Like I said, please allow yourself as we are building to the eclipse, clearing stuff out is so potent, so important. Um, moon and Mercury connecting, got that lazy cat energy happening for us still. <laughs> but again, so much insight can come through this. So letting yourself be still, this is the first part of the morning. If you can wake up and meditate, that could be very helpful in and through this. Uh, moon and Pluto, again, pretty early in the morning. Um, be empowered by your magic, but stay in your power and don't give it away to illusion and use your illusion. If you've heard me say that, right? There's a lot of illusion in this world and sometimes that illusion uses us, but we can use that, we can use illusion to support our growth. So see where you can use that. Um, moon into Aries, 9, 11 a.m., which means we're going to have a void, of course, moon morning. Uh, might be kind of a slow start, but once the moon moves into Aries, <laughs> going to be rocketing off. That being said, we are in dark of the moon. Dark of the moon rings, feels. Aries brings reactions. So recognize we may be feeling slightly reactive in and through this energy. To add to that, on tomorrow's scope, we're going to have Mercury and Pluto connecting. So they're building into that connection today. Um, it is a trine, but watch your feelings around your power uh, and watch the illusion around that. So staying connected to the source, right? We are a bit in the laziness energy. <laughs> so this is where we're called to lazy cat, sit back. It doesn't mean that the work is through. There is work to be done. And yet sometimes we, in the process of the work, you have to stand back so you can see uh, where you are at with things. This is going to be a moment to moment process. Let your flow be in the moment. Today may not be necessarily a day to plan ahead so much as it may be like kind of doing its own thing with all of this Pisces to kick off the day and, and Neptune, Neptune being at the helm today. 
uh, holding understanding for yourself and others in and through this energy. So to finish off, I want to bring attention again to my new favorite clothing line, um, Live Gratitude. This is a shirt from there. Uh, it is one of the alignment shirts. And, you know, I like to give props to those who do the work, walk their talk. And uh, my client friend who owns this company absolutely does that. So I encourage you to check out Live Gratitude. Um, Gaia Blooming, the code for 10% off. So go check that out. Uh, and this is so lovely. It's modal, which is made out of peach tree. So it is uh, eco-friendly. So I'm going to leave that there. You can book a reading with me. Email me, mimiclark at gmail.com. Besides that, the better it gets, the better it gets. There's more than enough love in the world for you. You have the power and honor your values. Namaste.